when you've been chasing storms for a quarter of a century, there are going to be days and years that stand out above all of the rest. And not only was 2023 my most prolific storm chasing season to date, it contains several of the most prolific days that I have ever seen in my entire storm chasing career. That is one of the tornadoes. There's actually a second circulation right off in the back corner here. Right now, do not think the tornado itself is going to pose a risk to the folks in Akron. This storm, I'm not kidding you folks, has produced at least half a dozen tornadoes. Some of the more stunning video you're ever going to see. This incredible mm. video captured by our own storm chaser and meteorologist, Tony Lawback. You're looking at uh, an area of rotation. This is just to the north of Red Oak by about five or six miles. This is on the ground. You are seeing this live, folks. This is a very large tornado. This is northeast of Ottumwa, Iowa. It's right in front of us, dude. It's crossing the road right now. Right here in this parking lot of this shopping center. We also got a foot vehicle here. With those storms as they work their way in, and that's where we really think that window is going to start to open up. If you see the water coming up here behind me, this is some pretty good waves that are still going on. As I've been kind of waiting to get on air here, some of the loud thunder. You see the lightning behind me. We're on the west side of Pampa. You show you. This looked a lot worse a little bit earlier. And then this one, both of these flipped out of the parking lot. already it has been snowing here for only about 15 minutes this is like pretty much what every parking lot has with these mounds of snow we are expecting i-25 in both directions in and out of casper to reopen numerous slide offs and wrecks all up and down the interstate
And the great pumpkin rises from the pumpkin <laughs> patch into temperature <laughs> somehow colder than it was two hours ago. We'll talk about how long this is going to last coming up. All the power in I wore this shirt just with you in mind because I've got to maintain that great pumpkin legacy. I considered really selling it and coming out here in like a tank top with a little sun umbrella and sunglasses and it, it's a little cold. Today, plenty of sunshine. The visibility is absolutely great. It is a very uh, chilly day here at the beach in Colby. I think I'm going to go ahead and just uh, enjoy a little bit of the snow. Ugh! Okay, that was not as much snow as I hoped it would be. <laughs> this is my cat, Zipperfoot, who has endured 16 different daylight savings times with me. He is my 15 pound ball of fluff and he is one of the chillest cats you will ever meet except for right now because he realizes he's on TV. On the front side of these systems a lot of times we're driving through very very strong winds and then especially in the early season coming back sometimes we have to deal with blizzards on the back side so these early season setups certainly make for an adventure all around the chase day itself. Is Sam Howell the man? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you know, he, we hoped he would be. Um, I think he is. I like I him just, a lot. I, think, I like uh, him a lot. I, I, I really like him. I think he's going to be great. People I like do. me a lot, but am I the man? <laughs> you know, I mean. Of course, one of the simplest ways to make this a quick and easy process is to have yourself a good ice scraper. That's not an ice scraper. That's not an ice scraper. No, that's an ice scraper. But of course, you do it the easy way and let Mother Nature and the Sun take care of all the work for you. Oh yeah, and Kevin, I was using the AccuWeather app to make sure I was in the right spot for this hit because I was not going to get through the end of the night without standing in some snow. Things have uh, changed up quite a bit here and uh, a lot of people are hunting for these guys right now. The seagulls are out making a feast of the clams out here and they're just dotting the beach and the folks are just kind of coming behind and picking up a lot of these shells. I just want you to know, Tony, I am blaming you that I don't have a white Christmas because you're on this story. And I think you are going to have a white Christmas, so congratulations. We're happy for you. Uh, thank you, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, we, uh, we put a lot of bribes into Mother Nature this year to ensure that we got one. Again this year, I believe this will make the third one in a row. I have to look on that to be completely honest with you. We are fortunately not far enough south to get into that warm, unstable air yet. Still a little bit chilly here with the Kansas breeze. Finally, I can finally say, you're right. 477 <laughs> this miles, is why we're on the pride. longest Damn. lightning strike. <laughs> I'm meteorologist Tony Laback here at the Museum of the Southwest in Midland, Texas. Ground zero for a beautiful view of a celestial event known as the Ring of Fire Eclipse. Not a cloud in the sky disturbed the view as myself and hundreds of my closest friends came in from all over the country to witness the Ring of Fire. The 2023 annular solar eclipse would be the perfect place on the perfect day. Everyone comes together for this. Everyone looks up at the same time. It's kind of like a black hole. The moon covers the sun and then there's a ring around it that's red. It's majestic. We're in awe. I think it's amazing. It's such a magical thing to experience. It's beautiful. Yeah, it, the experience oh, was so good. Probably you see few of that in your lifetime. It was spectacular. It was, it was really cool. I loved it. It's definitely a, a new experience. And uh, I got to share it too with my five year old boy this morning. So that was pretty special for me, you know, show him his first eclipse. I wish it lasted a little longer, but it was beautiful. It's just emotional bring you to tears. If you like this one, you've got to go to the next one. If you look at the span of just the existence of the universe, what are the odds that we live in the perfect time for it to be visible at this moment, in this space, at this magnitude? So it'll be really cool to just at least have that experience to see it and make the most of what we're able to see. And for AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Tony Lawback.